and then ask yourself, am I earning that? If you're not earning that, you should know, you should not be allowed to add any other verticals until you have pegged that. Because what would your life look like if you become the greatest at that? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video today, I'm gonna to tell you why I turned down a million dollars just like that when someone asked me to do something. I'm gonna tell you this is gonna be a lesson that's gonna save and change a lot of y'all's lives, okay? Because I know a lot of people, people say that uh, time is the greatest thing that you get in your life. I don't think it is, I think it's your attention. And I think the reason why a lot of people don't get to where they wanna go is because their attention is totally diluted down, okay? Um, we are in the era of the influencer, the entrepreneur, right? And stuff like that. So everybody's like wanting to do like all these verticals and seven streams of income. And I want to tell you that is all a lie. You, you do not have seven streams of income until you get really good at one stream of income and make a lot of money and then you invest it and you have multiple streams. And I think that people forget to leave out that part. That part. So I'm going to share a message today with you that I know that will save a lot of your lives. And by the way, just in case you don't know who I am, my name is Andy Elliott. I live in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm 44 years old. I currently run a business that did $150 million last year, run away to 250 this year, run away to a billion dollar company and I will get there. I have one of the best cultures on planet Earth, one of the greatest sales teams on planet Earth. I have a great family. I'm in physically great shape. I've recreated my life and I have learned the art of getting it all, the art of achievement, the art of fulfillment. And so I share things with you for free. I do have a badass coaching program that teaches anybody from salespeople to billion dollar business owners how to take their life to the next level, their, to an edge in their business, or how to build the greatest sales teams in the world. But what I want to talk to you about during this video is about a time that me and my wife, we went to the speaking event. I'm always on a stage speaking somewhere. And when I got off stage, I had this guy who walked up, he has a billion dollar company. He says, Andy, I want for, the, my wife was standing right here and he goes, Andy, I want for this next week, I want you to fly out to my company. I'm gonna wire you a million dollars right now. And I want you to fly out to my company and I want you to work for the next week in my company and tell me everything that's wrong. And, um, and I'm gonna wire you a million right now. I don't care, I'm gonna wire it to you. And before I even got a chance to say anything, my wife said no. She's like, we didn't, she said no. And I said, babe, she goes, no. She goes, listen, she goes, number one, and I don't mean like no, like as a disrespectful. She goes, we love you, we appreciate you, we're grateful for you, but that's not what we do. My husband runs 100 men and women on our team. We run uh, 500,000 individual salespeople and business owners and entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs and CEOs around the world. And we run 10,000 companies. We have a massive empire that we're building. We have goals. We get 150 million views on social media every 30 days. Um, he has a family, which is I'm his wife. We have three kids at home. We have a lot of stuff going on. And as much as we would love to earn a million dollars, we have this blueprint, this play, this plan that we're running. I want to explain this to everybody right now. Most people think they need to get into new verticals and every time somebody wants to pay them to do this or do that, let's say it's a fitness, a gym company and a guy comes in and he goes, why don't you open a meal prep company? Why don't you open this? Or why don't we do the cryo plunge over here? Next thing you know, they're put adding all these other things and then the one thing that they were great at, sure, all these little add-ons theoretically is like, oh, we're going to make more money, but really it's just distracting and diluting your attention from the one thing that you're good at. And let me explain this out, okay? So if you're like me, if you like to tell Take notes. I always have a notebook with me. I want you to write this down. One million dollars. I want you to write down ten million dollars, thirty million dollars, a hundred million dollars, two hundred fifty million dollars, and a billion dollars. And as you wrote down all those, those are all businesses. And each one of those businesses earned that amount of money. And every one of those businesses all do the same thing except the one that earns a billion, right? The one that earns two hundred fifty million. The one that earns a hundred million versus the one that makes one million. The one that makes a hundred million does a hundred times better, and they sell a hundred times more, okay, than the company that does one million. And that's the reason why it's like, people say, well, it gets boring. I wanna add something else. I wanna add something new. Listen to me, to become the world's greatest at something, if you couldn't take in any industry right now, whatever industry you're in, and say, what does the top 1% earn in my industry? Okay, so if you're in this XYZ industry, I want you to write down what does the top 1% in the world make in your industry? And then ask yourself, am I earning that? If you're not earning that, you should know, you should not be allowed to add any other verticals until you have pegged that. 
Because what would your life look like if you could become the greatest at that? Because I see a lot of people, they're always going over here, going over here, going over here, going over here, and that's why their companies don't grow fast. Their companies grow so slow. I've got so many friends right now, and here we are scaling and growing so quick, and everybody's like, oh my God, Andy, you're destroying the industry. You're going to the next level. How are you growing so fast? How do you do it? And I'm like, because I say no. I say no. And by the way, I want to tell you, if you want me to do something that is in my wheelhouse, yes, I will do it. But if it's outside of my wheelhouse, I don't want to do it because I'm on a mission to become the greatest at what I'm doing. By the way, if you're watching this video right now, I train CEOs, I train business owners, I help companies scale the greatest sales teams on planet Earth. I have digital training. I do Zoom calls. I do face-to-face -face brotherhood, direct interactions with people that are, that are business owners of a billion dollar company or they're salespeople that are just starting up. If you feel like you want to be coached by me, and I'm just being super clear, and you're like, dude, I want to be coached by you. I want an edge. You're 44 years old, Andy. You're on fire. You get it all in life, but you get underdogs. You get like everybody's qualified to have a great life. I'm running a play. This play isn't working. I want to run a new play. I'm a psycho competitor. I'm obsessed just like you, but I'm not getting those results. But I want to get them. Go down to the description box below on this YouTube video right now. Go down to the description box. You're going to click on a link. It's going to ask you eight questions. And when you answer these eight questions, okay, based on the way that you answer them, if you get qualified to coach with me, I will reach out to you in the next 24 hours. It's that simple, okay? If it's something that I can help you with, I'm all in and we will crush it. Now, let's get back to this. You're going to have to go through a season of saying no. I need you to do me a favor. And I wrote down some notes and maybe I'll just read them to you. Is that cool? Like, let me just share with you what I wrote down. Go slow to go fast, okay? You don't need to go fast and run around all over the place. What do you do? How good are you at what you do? What does the top 1% earn? And what do you need to do to get there? Go slow, make notes now. Number two, get good at one thing. Be the best in the world at one thing. Don't let anyone else be better than you, period. The next one, the ones who make the most do the least. You say, well, what does that mean? They don't work? No, no, no. It means they do one thing. The ones that make the most, that earn the most. I have a sales training company. I told you it did 150 million last year. I don't know many companies that are in sales training that did 150 million last year. I only do self-development, period. I brainwash people to be great. I teach people skills how to be the best in the world. I teach people to be the greatest communica communicators of all time, okay? Like, that's what I do, all right? So I just wanna tell you, like, that's what it is, okay? The ones who make the most do the least. Figure out what it is you do and say, go through a season of saying no to everything else. I want you to write down right now, what's my end goal? What do you want? Because I want you to understand, a lot of people, they start something and they don't, they lose track of what their end goal is and then they end up doing all these things and what was once their end goal and they wanted it actually if you see what they're doing like it doesn't equate to that okay so we're gonna write down what's your end goal and then reverse engineer back into what it is that you should be doing to make your end goal does that make sense okay and then i put if it doesn't align with you don't do it you say andy but i need this money you need to build your business. You need to be the best at what you do. You need to stop jumping around, okay? You guys feel me? I put this, never dilute your attention. Time is gonna run out one day, but what you get your attention today will determine what you do with your time. So your attention, what gets your attention is the most valuable thing in the world. And by the way, if I would have went and done this thing, there's strings attached to that one million. And, the, and those strings get my attention. And I have all these other things that need my attention. And when I go do that, me taking that one million could cost me five million. So I just lost four million by taking a million. Do you understand? You guys must become the best in the world at, at, at what it is that you do. This is just wisdom advice. This is me sharing my heart with you and why I see people not growing fast, not scaling fast, and not making it. This is what I see. So I wanna share this with you and I hope that this saves your life, okay? And if you see somewhere where you're getting off, this is a, this is a good time for you to get back on track, okay? I put never dilute your attention. The better you are, the better the opportunities you have to say no to are. When my company started growing, I had people that came across and they still do every day with all kinds of stuff. I wanna give you this, I want you to be a partner in this, I'm gonna give you equity in this. And if it doesn't align with what I wanna do, I'm not gonna do it. 
So I just want you to just think about this. These are things that I wanna share with you that are life lessons in my life, and this doesn't cost you anything. This is wisdom. This is 25 years of wisdom you're getting right now, okay? And then I put the same thing here. I do the same thing over and over again, and I do it so I can get better every single day. So guys, make sure that you start saying no to new verticals. If you're in a vertical, you know that it can pay you well, become the world's greatest at it, and, and by the way, go through a season of saying no to anything else. Now listen, if you're in a vertical right now that you don't love, maybe you need to switch to a new vertical, but figure out what it is that you wanna do and become the world's greatest at it. Guys, I really think we're alive in an era right now. There's unlimited money. If you're in the United States, United States prints free money. It's just the truth, it's everywhere. And if you're not getting your hands on it, it's because you're not turning money on and you're not good at what you do. I want you to think about what I said is, what is the top 1% in your industry earn? And if you're not earning that, I want you to know that you are qualified to earn it, but you're not running the right play. You're not, be, you're not becoming the right person. You're not the right leader. You don't know how to recruit the right people or you don't know how to sell, influence, or persuade the right way. Whatever it is, if you're a psycho competitor, if you're obsessed like me and you would like me to help take you across the finish line so that you can score big in life just how I'm doing in my life. Again, there's a link below, there's eight questions, answer them. And if I'll look at them and I'll say, dude, I love this. I feel the same way you feel, let's go. I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours, let's kill it. Love you guys, God bless, have a blessed day. Hope this video helped you. I'll see you in the next video.